What's up everybody? Jason here with All Terrain Coffee and Camping and today I'm here to talk to you about the Hydro Flask Trail Series Lightweight Hydration. You can see that real good here. This is the 32 ounce wide mouth bottle. Um, so they mention here it'll do cold for 24 hours and hot for 12. And doing a little bit of a test on this, this is what I've really been testing out. So yesterday I filled this one here up. Um, I, I call it the brown one. It's kind of a bronze. They call it, I think, obsidian is the name of this color. Um, I filled it up last night, and, and this is not what I'm about to take the temperature of now. So last night the temperature, I, I, the, the one I checked this morning after 12 hours, it was still at 132 32 degrees. Fahrenheit um, and it was at around 201 202 when I put it in so is that hot enough to brew a cup of coffee if I wanted to use this to do coffee not really however if you were to fix coffee late earlier in the day if you were to fix the soup or something it was still plenty hot enough to drink I mean, it was actually a pretty good temperature drinking wise so at least for a lot of people I do love my drinks to be really hot but I would still be happy drinking something like that or having soup at that temperature. So I was impressed at that. But what I wanted to check this morning was if I were to boil water at the house, fill this up, come out to a park, is it still hot enough to brew a cup of coffee? Um, I think the answer is going to be yes. I did, I did check this. Um, I boiled this using my, my kitchen kettle, my electric kettle. And um, so, you know, that bowl was right at 201, 202. After I put it in here, I did check it with my, the same thermometer I'm about to use now, and it was at 201, and that was right at 30 minutes ago, give or take a, a couple of minutes. All right, so let's go in and check this out. And I will say, it is cool to touch on the outside. The, the lid gets a little warm, but not unbearable hot. So I'm going to show you once this clears out. So right now, this is currently reading at 61 degrees, if you can see that. Still going up a little bit. All right, I'm going to stop it at that. This is showing 194. 194. Can I, boil coffee? Can I brew coffee with that? Yes, I can. Most definitely can do coffee at 194. So, you know, and you might think, well, what's the reason for that? Why can't I just boil it when I get there? What if you're going to a park or an area where you might not be able to use a stove? What if there's a burn ban? Um, I would still say, so last night I did another test. After about three and a half hours, this was measured in at 174. Which to me is still, it's kind of teetering, but it's still good enough to boil water. So if you were going on a day hike somewhere, there was a burn ban, you wanted to be able to do some coffee while you're out on the day hike, just not in the parking lot or not picking up a Starbucks or something on the way there. You wanted to get out, you wanted to get in the woods and actually brew you a cup of coffee. Um, hour drive or so, maybe a, a 30 minute hour hike in before you want your coffee, if you can wait that long. By that point in time, I've already had like two or three coffees myself, but... Anyway, um, you know, you could, you could fix your water at home. You could put it in this. You could get out to the park. You could get where you want to go. And the water is still going to be good enough for doing coffee in. Um, there's actually a lot of conversations, a lot of debates about the perfect temperature for coffee. And a lot of people say that 180 is, is the right temperature. Um, I've brewed coffee at all kinds of different temperatures. They all work pretty good for me. Um, Using my Nespresso, when I'm making an Americano with it, I will say doing it at 180, the, the water I'm adding into the coffee, um, it, it does seem to work out pretty good for that. So maybe if you're doing something like an Americano and you're adding in, it might make a little bit more of a difference. All right. Matter of fact, let's go in and take this out of the sleeve. So in, I'm just testing this right now with the Wildland coffee. So the pouring of can be a little, it's not too bad actually with that wide 
mouth. Let me get this here so I can see how much water I'm putting in it. I'm gonna do my wild land right at eight, a little above eight. I mean, you can already see that the you know the water's changing. There's steam coming out. So yes, this is going to brew a good cup of coffee now. Doing like I do for Wildland because they say it takes eight minutes. Of, I've messed around with it. Usually somewhere between five and eight, I'm good. I'm not going to leave this video running probably the whole time to test that part out. I just already can tell you this is going to brew coffee. So we've got my coffee ready. We're getting ready. It's brewing. So there it is. Now you'll notice I actually have two different bottles here. Um, and I did that on purpose. Uh, I bought two. I, I saw these probably about five or six months ago uh, in a store. And it was like, you know, that's pretty cool with it being more of a lightweight option. Um, I can't remember offhand. I meant to look up the weight. It doesn't state the weight up here. Of these do hold 32 ounces of water. It doesn't state the weight of it empty. And I meant to look it up. I'm going to drop a link in the bottom. I will put the, 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 the weight in the bottom description as well. But, um, you know, I remember thinking, hey, this is pretty cool. It, this, it, it's lightweight, and at the same time, it's got a decent weight to it. Um, I would say, it, you know, I'm not, this is not from their site or anything official. A lot of times when you're, you're looking at things that hold insulation better, they're double wall. And, um, you know, I wouldn't say this is a double wall nor a single wall, and that could sound dumb because double wall, I think, I don't know if there's a specification. It's got to be so much space and material. But when we're looking at single wall, there's definitely more to this than a regular single wall would be. So that's what's helping it keep that heat in. Um, if this was a single wall, I would definitely feel it coming through my hand or your normal single wall. But um, but I want the two different colors because that way I could kind of, hey, coffee, water. Now, am I going to fill this up with coffee? Most likely not. And the reason for that is I like to fresh brew my coffee. So I, I doubt I'll ever fill it up with coffee Will I do it with soup? Uh, maybe, maybe not 32 ounces worth of soup. But um, I, I'm, I'm more likely to use this for hot water. So I've got my hot and cold. And most likely what's going to happen is one of these is going to stay in my coffee kit. Probably this one because the, the colors jive a little bit better. And this one's probably going to go with me more on a, a regular day basis. Um, days where I might have to go into an office. Days where I might be traveling on an airplane. Maybe if I'm even backpacking, you know, and not having to worry about burn bands, not having to worry about keeping water hot, I might just take my blue bottle. Um, I might actually fill it up with ice and water if it's a really hot day, so I can have me a nice cool drink at the beginning of the trail. If it keeps for 24 hours, you know, I might be able to you know, top it up as I go. And, and maybe even, you know, at the night if it's still kind of hot outside, I might still have a cool drink. It might not be cold, cold, but anyway. So there it is. I just wanted to do a quick video on this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, feel free to give me a like, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and leave comments at the bottom. Let me know what you think about this. Hope you have an awesome day. Bye!